Good morning, people. Um, it's raining today, so I won't be able to show you much outside. But I want to show you, I stubbed both of my toes yesterday. But this one I stubbed real bad. If it wants to focus, focus. You can see, even when it's not focused, you can see on the line there that it, uh, well, it cracked all the way across. So that was real painful yesterday. It feels better this morning, but it's still pretty tender. But, uh, very rocky walking yesterday. And, uh, yeah, I stubbed both my toes. The other one cracked too, but not as bad. This one, like, was, looks crazy. Here's Indy, the resident sales rep for the big, big moss out there. <laughs> She's cleaning her pot with moss because her sponge got way too dirty and she threw it out. And it works really well. It gets a little bit of dirt in there, but the dirt comes out super easy. And that's the really easy, that's a nice way to clean your stuff, actually, is to use moss. It's also good for toilet paper. It's also good to sleep on. What else can you do with it? It's nice to touch. Just touch it. It feels great. <laughs> what, what else is it good for? That's pretty much it. Alright. Maybe you can also brush your teeth with it. Hey, morning. Still morning. But I got a, well, ow. My toe. It's hurting to walk on, and I have to be careful not to stub it. So I might be looking down, because it's very sore. <laughs> but yeah, so, ah, we'll finish the Hawk Talk. Yesterday's Hawk Talk, we'll finish that sometime. Don't worry, sorry to leave you hanging. Um, but I got a new idea in my head that I want to share. Uh, and it's, it's a much quicker and easier to explain, and I have a nice little story for it. Ow. And um, and uh, I kind of put it's called I call it says noticing with intention. Um, let's see. So it's kind of for promoting change within yourself. You notice with intention for it to be different than it is. Um, so I uh, kind of figured this. It was kind of. I'm kind of. I don't remember. Uh, how it came to be, but I know this specific wording, noticing with intention, happened this year in, I was in um, Nepal, in Kathmandu, in a Buddhist monastery when the pandemic hit, um, which was very interesting. That was a very fascinating moment of time, and, um, but while I was there, I was taking a course on compassion in Buddhism, and, um, this is Mahayana Buddhism. There's several different, you know, types, and they all they have saw a lot of similar beliefs and a few things that they do differently. Mm, not so much in the beliefs, but in the practice, maybe is more so the differences. Um, but anyway, Mahayana Buddhism and Kopan taking a course, and this this wording uh, became apparent. So noticing with intention to promote change within yourself. And that is, um, that's the story I have is, um, I mean, you could do it for, for smoking, I think. You could do it for, for anything, for, for nail biting or for, um, feeling angry. Or, uh, for me, I did it once when I was like, what was it, 18 or 19? I think it was 18. I wanted to stop cursing because the girl I liked did not like cursing. So, <laughs> <laughs> That's always a strong promoter for change, and I would, I used to have a very, very bad tongue, and, um, and so it would just, yeah, I wouldn't worry about it at all, I never thought about it, I would just, I would just curse, and it was not a big deal, but once I decided I wanted it to be different, over a couple of months, I started noticing, I would say the curse word out loud, and I would finish my sentence, and I'd be like, ooh, I cursed there. And I noticed it, and I had the intention to not curse. And then over time, I would say a curse word, and I would notice it as I said it, instead of at the end of the sentence. And I was like, aha. And then, 
I would start to say a curse word, like, and I'd be like, ooh, I'm about to curse, let me stop. And noticing with intention. And then, I would eventually just, it would be on my tongue, and I wouldn't even, wouldn't even have the sound. And I'd be like, oh, I'm about to curse. Let's not do that. And then eventually I would just have the thought, where it's like, oh, I want to say that, I'm not going to. And I, every time, I uh, over, it would be noticing it at a sooner and sooner moment to the point where it kind of extinguished itself. And then the, the, uh, the thought to curse no longer occurred. There was no need for noticing anymore because no, there was nothing to notice at a certain point. And so that's noticing with intention. Um, and, and that can help you, um, I guess, yeah, change behaviors within yourself, you know, as you would like. Kind of like, uh, we're in a cloud right now, so it's just like kind of very heavy misting and, um, a lot of, um, I guess condensation collects on the leaves and the, it's not really raining, but it's dripping everywhere and constantly. <laughs> So it's an interesting, quote-unquote, rain happening. But it's kind of nice, visually. But I really, what gets annoying is the hiking in wet socks and wet shoes. That gets, uh, that gets really old after a day. <laughs> and I already had to do it yesterday. So I gotta take more breaks today that let my feet dry out. Because um, otherwise, a lot of blisters and a lot of... Yeah, a lot of foot problems come about when you're hiking wet. Check this out. Oh, my phone's getting dripped on. But look at all these. These are red chanterelle. You can actually eat these. Look at them. There's so many of them. And then, whoosh, on the other side. These ones are dying. But they're still, like, look over there. There's so many. All those little dots. But yeah, these ones look the prettiest. These are so red. Oh yeah, yeah, these hills, these hills. <sighs> They're so annoying. I've just been charging up this hill for an hour, and they never stop when you think they should. It's like, all right, or the second time, or the third time, or the fourth time, you think they should stop. <sighs> Turns out I'm only at this point. This is uh, whatever dirt road, gravel road, gravel road gap or whatever. And look, it just keeps going up. It's really annoying. Still going up, but now. It's extra rocky. It's way steeper than it looks. Conquered the hill. So now I get to go, I don't know, kind of like Virginia flat. All rocks. Very uh, not easy walking. Um, Excuse me, and then I go down, and I stop at a shelter, and I eat lunch very quickly, and then keep moving, um, at least to the shelter after that, and maybe another one after that. But I don't, I don't know. It's going too slow in the morning, so it'll be difficult to hit that distance shelter. That would be a 25 mile day and mm, taking it too easy, too slow in the morning. But uh, so I don't think, I'm not so sure I can hit that one. But we'll see. We have uh, another down and another up that looks similar to the one I just did. So not really looking forward to that. Today is just one of those days I'm not really enjoying 
about hiking today. This happens. Just gotta ride the wave. Whoa ho ho! I don't think I've ever seen this guy before. Ooh, he's got like that weird tail. And he's got these bright yellow bumps. Yeah, how cool is that? Made it to the next shelter. Gotta let my feet breathe and eat lunch. And then I gotta get moving. Gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Too slow in the morning. That was the hardest and longest six miles. I did not like that at all. The first time I've enjoyed any part of the trail today. Ooh. Someone's farmhouse. Farm home. I always like these open fields. They're, they're nice. Went over the hill. Came across. Oh, and look at this. This is fun. Oh, that's neat. There, that's better. Very cool. And now, you can probably see it going this way. Very cool. An old barn. It's got holes in it and everything. Very neat. Yeah, that took me a second. I came out over there. You can see the blazes. You hike over you over the railing there, and then you come over the footbridge, um, and you see this blaze on a rock, and you go this way. But there's a nice little river down there. Let's see if you can see it better. A little bit. So I'm going to collect water because the only water source after this is at the shelter, the next shelter. And then I just realized it's 0.4 miles off of the trail. So I'm not going to go to that. I'm just going to keep going forward. Um, probably won't hit the shelter after that. But I'll just pitch a tent where I can find one. Maybe. Maybe I'll feel like. Maybe I'll make good time or something, or maybe I'll feel like hiking late and I can get to the shelter. The nice part about that is it's a shelter. So you can just, you don't have to worry about your tent or nothing. You just throw your bag down and you're good to go. The other thing, yeah, I'll zoom that out. Um, the other thing is, oh, it's supposed to rain, supposed to thunderstorm tomorrow. I don't know when that's supposed to start, if it's in the middle of the night or morning, afternoon, whatever. I don't know. So that's why it would be nice to have a shelter if, you, if you're getting rained on in the morning. It's, it's just nice to start your day drier. <laughs> it doesn't matter too much, but it's just a little bit nice. It's just like an old AT shelter. Falling apart a little bit. But that's pretty neat. Mm, the AT now goes this way. Mm. I don't know if I told you guys this, but my nickname, you know, I'm Singing Hawk, that's my trail name, but, uh, got a nickname of Old Bones. <laughs> I got my two compression sleeves and my, uh, what came in, uh, back in the last town, uh, Parisburg. Whew. That uh, was an order of, uh, Chopat, uh, knee braces. Because they're very minimal and easy to put on. Oh, so I have two compression sleeves and two knee braces now. And two trekking poles. So yeah, they call me old bones. And you could hear it when I bend down to pick up the poles. I make noises. <laughs> Ooh. Ugh. <laughs> old bones. Oh, I made it up the other hill. This thing's always crooked, isn't it? Oh well. Hmm. I'm stopping at the oh, nice power line view. It's nice because I can dry my tent. Maybe some drying on the shoes, some drying on the socks, and the other socks. And uh, I can take a second to breathe. Both of the hills today had no switchbacks. It's just straight. Just go. Just go straight. First home. First home straight up um yeah those are rough but yeah so i don't know i'm hoping maybe i can do four more miles today it'll put me at i don't know 20 
to 22, somewhere in there. This place is pretty cool. Getting to the top is all these, excuse me, little rock piles. Whole bunch of rubble. And I mean, there is a f quite a few before this as well. So I mean, not only that, it's like it's pretty nice up here, like it's real pretty, but there's all these rubble, rock rubble piles. It's really interesting. Uh, I don't know what the story is behind them. So hopefully in town I can look that up, figure out what's happening up here. Wow. Wow. That's just awesome. Look at that whole range you can see. And then the trail goes following the rocks there. So this is not the same view, it's a second one. And I'm gonna do something crazy. Because I like the idea of waking up right here. I'm gonna do a cowboy camp, which means no tent. I'm going to set it up right there. Just put down my Tyvek. Hey, <laughs> Excuse me. I was going to put down my Tyvek and put down my, my sleeping pad. Just, I think, right here. I'm going to lay my head here. And, uh, or, yeah, we'll see how it fits. I think, like, right in here, we're going to lay out that way. And we'll see how slanted it is. If not, I'll just switch it around, put my head over there, and my feet down this way. And that way, let me see if I can back up a little bit. You can get a different view. So there you go. So sleeping right in there. And looking out at that. So the weather might get bad. Talked about the thunderstorms that might be coming in. But right now it's very clear. And uh, if the wind picks up or if it starts raining, I'm just going to pick up my stuff, pack it fast, and just start walking. And I'll get to the next shelter in about three miles. And um, yeah, if that happens, I'll get to the shelter and I'll be wet and who cares? That's, that's hiking. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I don't know what the camera's doing. It's going funky color. Um, one last thing. Uh, oh yeah, my battery's gonna die, and I don't have my recharge, because I thought it was full when it wasn't, so I didn't charge it when I had the opportunity. That, uh, that happens sometimes. So, so, my phone's almost dead, it's only at like 20%, so I'm gonna turn it off, and I'm not gonna turn it on until I get to, there's a thing tomorrow called Dragon Tooth, or Dragon's Tooth. It's supposed to be as part of the... The Triple Crown of Virginia. You got Dragon's Tooth and McAfee's Knob, and there's a third one that I don't know. But, uh, sorry about the cat, I don't know what it's doing. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna keep it off. Maybe um, I'm gonna have an alarm, so I'll say good morning, and then I'm gonna turn my phone off again, and then I'm only gonna turn it back on when I get to Dragon's Tooth. So, sorry for anything that, that, that you guys missed. Looks like a change of plan, everybody. I'm gonna have to pack up a mosey on. I'm probably just gonna hike for a long time, get to the next shelter, cause I see a bunch of lightning over there. Can't see it, there's one. If you saw it in the camera, there's one. But it's like over a pretty wide space over there. So that has me real nervous. Um, Unfortunately, I think I have to be responsible and not camp up here if there's lightning and thunder or if there's a thunderstorm. I don't know if it's coming this way or not, but it's a big one and the weather report, whoa, that was massive, said it might be coming this way. So, oy. all right, I have to, I'm going to go hike another two hours now and get to the shelter. It's 8, 8, 8 p.m. 
I'll probably leave in a half hour. Maybe I'll get to the shelter around 10.30. Ideally. That sounds good.